Hello guys, today I am going to explain about domestic electrolux refrigerator. The purpose of the domestic electrolux refrigerator is to eliminate the use of pump in the refrigerator so that we can eliminate large amount of noise inside the refrigerator and also we can avoid the moving parts inside the refrigerator. This refrigerator is also known as three fluid refrigeration system because we are using three different fluids in order to run this entire system. The fluids are ammonia, hydrogen and water. Even though ammonia is toxic, we use ammonia as the refrigerant because it possesses most of the desirable properties. We use hydrogen because it is non-corrosive and insoluble in water. We use water because it is used as a solvent because it has the ability to absorb this ammonia. So before, before going to the pro entire process, we can see what are the different types of what are different components in, of electrolyx refrigerator. This is a generator where we heat the liquid inside the generator using a gas burner. This is a rectifier. The purpose of the rectifier is to eliminate the water content in this pipe. The purpose of a condenser is to condense the vapors to a li to liquid. This is evaporator. This is a chamber where we need very less temperature. Our entire aim is to reduce the temperature of this evaporator. And this is the absorber where we fill water inside the absorber. We fill water inside the absorber. And this is the heat exchanger where we exchange heat. So we can start from here. Here we have strong solution of ammonia. It means we have a strong solution of ammonia means ammonia plus water is there. So ammonia plus water will be passed through this heat exchanger so that the heat from this pipe will get absorbed by this strong solution. So we know that the boiling point of the ammonia is very less compared to that of water so that a small part of ammonia will evaporate inside this pipe. So the strong solution will move to the generator so that the gas, gas burner will heat the fluid inside this generator so that the entire ammonia entire ammonia will get evaporated so this evaporated ammonia will pass through the rectifier the purpose of the rectifier is to eliminate the water content in this ammonia because it, it won't be 100 percentage ammonia a small part of ammonia small part of water will be also there inside this pipe so that the, the purpose of the rectifier is to avoid all those eliminate all this water content in this pipe so that we get pure ammonia through to the condenser if you don't use the rectifier it will leads to uh, leads to freezing inside this condenser and it will it will leads to choking inside the condenser so the, the ammonia vapor will condense to ammonia liquid inside the condenser condenser <coughs> so the condenser will then move the, uh, the the liquid ammonia will get moved to the evaporator so in the evaporator we add hydrogen gas so that the boiling point of the ammonia will get reduced so that the ammonia will get boiled by absorbing the heat from the evaporator so the ammonia will absorb heat from the evaporator so that the temperature of the evaporator will get low so this ammonia and hydrogen will pass through the absorber in the absorber we fill water so that ammonia will get solved inside the water and a hydrogen will raise to the upper part. So the hydrogen will again pass through this evaporator so that the entire process will continue. So this water will contain ammonia. So the ammonia, ammonia water strong solution. This strong solution is again fed to the heat exchanger so that this entire cycle will complete. So and this, this is the weak solution. Coming to the next cycle, this is a weak solution. That is, the most um, most amount of the am ammonia will get evaporated and the rest of the ammonia and the greater part of water will be there inside the generator. And the weak solution, weak solution of ammonia will pass through this uh, heat exchanger so that the heat is transferred to this strong solution and it, and it, will, it will move to the absorber and the entire process continues. So this is the basic working principle behind the electrolux refrigerator uh, if you like this video please like this video and subscribe to my channel thank you